I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. And if you own an Omnibus F4 with Betaflight on it, then you're definitely going to learn something today. You're going to learn what to do if your quadcopter is doing this. Some people are experiencing quadcopters that flip out in the way that was shown in that video. Not the typical flip out like when you first throttle up and you've got a prop on wrong where the copter kind of spins and flips over. And not the kind of flip out where you, you have min throttle too low or you get a desync and the copter kind of drops an arm and tumbles into the ground. This one is a kind of a flip out where the copter kind of goes <laughs> and then crashes. I know you love that impression. I did that just for you. It kind of violently shakes. I've seen it happen on the pitch axis. In the video I showed you, it was happening on the roll axis. And the answer is that there's an issue. Is it a bug? I don't know. But there's an issue with Betaflight and this specific board. And the issue is a DMA conflict, direct memory access conflict. And that's a thing that computer scientists and programmers know about, and it doesn't really matter what it is. The bottom line is this. It's caused by a conflict between the black box logging to SD card and the motors. And you can easily fix it either by disabling black box logging, but you don't want to do that, or by turning off a command line option that causes the SD card to not use DMA. Now I'm going to tell you how to how to make that change, of course, but uh, before we do that, let me just tell you what some of the implications are of making this change. Using DMA is faster than not using DMA, and that's why we use DMA by default to write to the SD card. So when you disable the SD card DMA, uh, you, you will be writing to the SD card slower, and that means that you'll need to use a lower logging rate black box logging right in order to avoid all those little boxes showing up in your black box log that mean that you're logging too fast that's what that means by the way if you didn't know you see all those little boxes in your black box log it means you're logging too fast and the SD card or the serial port just can't keep up now the good news is that even with DMA disabled I think you should still be able to log at one kilohertz and my recommendation for black box logging is that you log at one kilohertz faster than that is a total waste unless you're a developer who's working on filters and PIDs and if you're one of those guys you know it. Uh, and slower than that is also a waste because you go below the Nyquist limit for the most interesting frequencies that we've got. And I have a video about Nyquist limit and aliasing which I'll link to in the upper right if that's the kind of thing you're interested in. The bottom line is log black box at one kilohertz and if you've got a board that is flipping out like you saw disable SD card DMA and here's how you do it. So here we are in the Betaflight configurator. I've got my Betaflight F3 connected. I'm going to connect to it and in the configuration tab I want to show you that the SD card option is turned on. That's because I'm using the SD card reader on board to do black box logging. If you've got an SD card reader on board and it isn't working, this option being disabled may be the problem, just as a side note. Now we'll go to the command line, and I kind of don't remember what the name of the option is. Well, here's what you can do. One thing you can do is type dump and just look through that to try and find the option in question. That's a little tedious. We can also type get, and I know it's got something to do with DMA, so we'll try get DMA, and it shows me the, the name of the parameter and the allowed values. So right now SD card DMA is on. I'm going to type set SD card underscore DMA uh, off. Uh, and that's in, I'm sorry, I have to type set SD card DMA equals off, that's the correct syntax, and then save, and the board will save and reboot, and that's it. Now your copter won't crash anymore. Happy flying. Thank you.